morning, you guys, and happy Saturday. Oh, I got my waist trainer on. Today, I'm going to do a reaction video. Yes, on Unk. Unk, I done, I done watch other people videos. I done watch other reaction videos on you and this COVID. I don't like talking about COVID that much because it's, it's an illness. I mean, it's not illness. It's, it's a sickness that you might die from, so... I pray. I'm praying for you and the kids. I don't know if it's true or not, but in my heart, I don't watch Lala's videos. I don't, watch, I don't watch her reaction videos, and I don't watch Reese reaction videos on you. But what I didn't seen so far, and I didn't studied, and I didn't watch, and I didn't listen because I just didn't want to jump out here because this this is my opinion and my opinion only. You guys, this is what I feel what's going on and what I see and what I didn't hear, what I didn't listen, what I didn't set back, and what I didn't watch, and what I didn't deserve. Now, I'm doing my reaction video on her, on her sickness and stuff. First, now I'm watching my, my grandbaby. I'm going to kick her little booty if she don't stop dropping that, lap, that tablet I just bought her. And, uh, so, uh, first of all, Mama Dukes. I'm sorry that your mom has passed. I know what you're going through. I know how you feel because I lost my mom. And it's hard It's hard to swallow. Something like this is hard to swallow. So my my thoughts and my, my, my prayers are going out to you and your family on that. But like Lala said, I don't get why you put that video out there about your mom, your mom's funeral. Because it can trickle and hurt some people and make them have reactions about, think about their families and stuff. It did with me. It did. It trickled about my mom's death and stuff. And you shouldn't have did that. You could have just kept that to yourself or you could just put a picture out. Took a picture of your mom or the, or the obituary and put it out there and showed it to everybody. But the video or something like that, No. It would have been best just do that. Because some folks was, well, don't mind seeing it. Some folks do. And, and me, I didn't. Because I'm already going through hard stuff. Because this is my mom's my mom's uh, birthday. is coming up in two more weeks. And it's hard. But anyway. So I heard it through the grapevine first that. Jazz had COVID. I like, uh, uh I don't believe because I'm already was mad because I don't like the way she, her and Stanky Boo, excuse me, Unk, Stanky Boo, what well, her and Stanky Boo was what they did to Chrissy and stuff. And there's a lot of reactors didn't approve of how they what they did and stuff. And I and I see that Jazz then had and then covered up her subscribers. Don't want nobody to see how many subscribers she done lost and she done lost a lot. So. Her and Unk and Stanky Booty then came up with these two schemes for reactors and other folks to come back and watch them. If you sit back and think, after all this BS, they, they losing their subscribers. They losing views. They losing a lot. They miss, they miss, they, it's messing with their money. So they got to think of something to come back with to get them to watch, for folks to watch them and talk about them. Stanky Booty is the pregnancy once again. I don't watch her no more. I don't care about Stanky Booty. I don't even talk about Stanky Booty because she's a non-factor to me. And Jazz is on, and Ankh is on her way to be a non-factor to me. But I love her kids so much, I have to watch her because I love them children. I love Stanky Booty kids too. They need to go back to their daddy and stuff. They need to go back to their father because... They was doing so much good stuff with their dad and everything. Now, the only thing they're doing is sitting up in the doggone house doing nothing. Why she getting up here, making making folks talk about her and put her down and every doggone thing. But let me get on off of her and going back to who I came to talk about. And that's Unk. So, Unk, You say you got COVID. I pray to God you done because you are pregnant with a baby and you're going to be having that baby soon. You had a stepmom and your father, people, I don't know who the heck they are, 
come on here talking about that you and the kids had COVID. So, I said it right then there. I don't believe it. I'm not going to believe it until I see it. See proof. Because a, a sub of mine had called me and told me that Unc got uh that Unc got COVID. I like, girl, whatever. I don't believe that crap because she lies a lot. Because you done did all this to this girl, to Chrissy, and you losing a lot of people. So, you had to come up with something. Then... Since nobody didn't want to believe about the stepmom and the stepdad, so you had mom, your mama, to come on here because you watch Lala and stuff. And Lala said that she ain't going to believe it until you come on here or your mama come on here. And why y'all not talking about it? And so mama all of a sudden did a laugh. You was in her laugh and stuff talking and everything. Then you was in Funky Booty laugh talking and stuff. And now then you come and make your own video Talking about you was you was sick and stuff. You had COVID. Girl, if you you didn't talk about COVID much, you talked about hips. How hips hips is the only one that don't have it. And that sounded kind of odd and strange. Everybody in the house supposed to have it except hips and stuff. And you talking about that man do not have a damn job for the last god dog at time. When you start talking about this man got a job. We all know that that man don't have a job. He just be out horn in your car. Going over his next B house. He going over his next female house. And if you got anything, you got a sinus infection. Because remember, think back, Unc. You laid it on thin about how sick you was back then. Thin. You laid it on thin about thick about your illness, about your sinus infection. You laid it on thick about when the ice storm was here. You played so many videos about that dog on ice storm. Well, you can folks feel sorry and guilty for you. So you can give so folks can give you money and cash out and everything. You laid it on thick when the water had the water pressure was low and he was supposed to have went and got water at the pool. Then you had to go get water and stuff from Home Depot, buckets and stuff from Home Depot. You laid it on thick then. You played them videos after everything was over with. You laid it on thick. Now you're back laying things on thick again. I just pray to God. Don't play with COVID, baby, because you people could people are dying from COVID. Kids are now starting getting sick from COVID. But one thing was killing me. You were talking about how you had to get up and take the twins a bath. And so I can understand. You uh, you need to call your mom because hips cannot take the, the twins no bath. Because especially Ava and stuff. Because she's a girl. But you had to get up. You supposed to be sick. And he got you up. Doing this, taking your kids, and you don't need to be taking Maya. If Maya got the sniffles and, the, and her throat is sore, you don't need to be taking her to no school because you're making her spread germs to the other kids. You remind me of this woman that my niece was telling me about the other day. Her male friend that she got. He's a teacher down in DeSoto, Mississippi. This woman kept on sending her child to school, and her child was sick, and he telling her. To tell your mom you need to she need to stop sending you to school because you are sick. So the mama kept on sending the baby to school sick in those last week and stuff. <clears throat> so he went and told the principal that the mom is still sending the child to school sick. The her, this child is in his classroom. He teach fourth grade. So the principal called her and told us do not bring the child back to school. She found out that her child had COVID. And she's sending that child to school. The teacher now got COVID. They had to shut the, that class down. All the kids couldn't come back to school until they got tested and stuff. Because that baby kept on, because that mama, low down mama, kept on sending her child to school. Now the teacher's sick. We don't know about the kids and stuff. My niece was telling me, I was like, ooh, mm. -mm. I know y'all be tired, but this is y'all child. You don't send your child to school when your child is sick. That's rude. No one that's spraying germs. You don't send no child to daycare sick. I never did send my mom. If I found out my child was sick, my, the, the, the teacher called me. I'm jumping off of work and going home and taking my child home. And you cannot come back to school unless you got a doctor excuse saying your child is much better. 
I don't know if they still do that. I don't know if these the classes and these daycare and stuff still do that, but that's what we had to do back then. We couldn't come, my child come back to school until they had a doctor's excuse giving them permission to come back to school. And that's what the teachers was doing back then. But yeah, you don't send no child uh, you don't send no child home. I mean back to no school they got a sore throat and stuff. You are spraying germs to the other kids and stuff. And yeah. Uh, it was it was uh, a lot of people at places here in Memphis that wasn't wearing masks, but me, I still was wearing my mask, baby. I yeah, uh, I got the I got the shot, I got the vaccination shot, but I didn't care. It's my well, if you got the shot, you don't have to wear. I know I'm still wearing my mask. Now this stuff has got worse again, and now people putting their best mask back on. That's what messed up everything when they tell these folks to stop wearing your mask. Still wear your mask and still stay six feet apart and still sanitize and wash your hands and keep the house clean and keep an eye on who come in and out of your house. Because now the kids are going back to school, they're bringing germs back to you and stuff. They are bringing germs back to your house and, and everything. So you got on here, you saying that you, this Fool brought you some hot noodles. You are you are pregnant. You don't need no dog on them hot spicy noodles when you pregnant. You can get him roars when you pregnant, eating hot food and stuff. You can get him roars in your butt. He don't care what you eat, baby. He don't care because he don't care about you. And you saying he's sleeping on the couch? He probably don't. don't he probably been sleeping on that dog on couch. We don't know that. We do not know that. And I don't believe, like I said, I do not believe. I'm saying that this is my opinion. I don't believe she have COVID. I don't believe it. But what she got is a sinus infection because this the same. This looked like the same illness that she had a while back when she was staying in that apartment, and she didn't know what was going on. She had to go take that shot and stuff because you ain't saying that they you'd been tested for uh, for COVID. You just said you got COVID. You ain't say you went to the hospital and they tested you or nothing. You just said that you got COVID. The kids ain't been tested, and you tonight they gotta wait ten days. I don't know what goes on up there in in Texas and stuff, so I don't know how y'all stuff is up there and everything. But they don't have to wait down here for no dog on ten days. Do we have? Do y'all have to wait ten days or whatever in y'all states, you guys? Because I know we don't have to wait here for no ten days or nothing. You have to make an appointment to take a vaccination. I mean, to take the little thing to go up in your nose and Walgreens and stuff. And because I know when my niece had got uh, COVID and she was around me, so I had to go make an appointment. I made that video and I had to make an appointment. My appointment was the next doggone day. And I went up there and they, they, I had, they had to stick that thing up my nose. And when my test came back negative, I didn't have COVID. But like I said, I don't believe it, but this is my opinion. I don't know what on. I I know y'all. Everybody got their own opinion about her, but I'm praying that she gets uh she gets better and stuff. And if the kids are sick, I hope they get better and everything. But Chris is not doing nothing. <coughs> you got to wash the clothes. You still got to wash the clothes, and you sick. Then you up there. You ain't got no napkins or nothing, Jay. Uh, unk. You don't have no napkins, no hand sanitizer, no nothing in that room with you. You up there and, <laughs> and all that stuff. You supposed to have clean nexus and all that in your room. You supposed to have spray. I didn't see none of that crap in your doggone room. Because I know some COVID people are, well, with my daughter-in-law, her mom, she just now getting over COVID because she just had to, she had the shot. She had the Johnson Johnson shot. And I thank God she had the shot. And hers was just like a cold. She said hers was just like a sinus infection. Hers was just like a sinus infection. Jazz, I know you don't believe, unk, I'm so sorry, unk, you don't believe in taking the I know you don't want the shot because you're pregnant right now and you don't need the shot. But I still say that. You got a sinus infection. That's all you got is a sinus infection. And the kids, they might caught your cold. They might have caught your cold and stuff. But 
you up here doing all this bragging about this no good ass man, this boy. I'm because he's not a man. In my eyes, he's still a boy. Because he don't know how to take care of you. You still got to cook for yourself. You still got to clean up. You still wearing the kids and every doggone thing. But you bragging about he doing this and he got to work. That man do not have a doggone job. He do not work. He go out in the streets and whore. Because if he really was a man, you won't have to lay it on that doggone thick, baby. You laying it on thick for folks to like him. Because you mad at your ex best friend because she threw your business out there. But she didn't throw it. She threw out hints what he do to you guys and stuff. And we knew back then, but your ex Bessie put it in, in place for us. What he is, what kind of person he really is and stuff. But we already knew what kind of person he was. We done seen it on your videos. Bundles and bundles of times. How he treat you and those children. Because just like on, excuse me y'all, on train wreck or YouTube. She showed one of the videos when y'all, you, and him was doing on y'all a cooking channel. On y'all, on, on that channel there. And he raised his hand up, you flinch like that. But you gonna laugh. And then he put his little hand around you. And you was scared as I like, I don't know what. We saw the fear in your eyes. Because you, if you wasn't scared, you wouldn't have flinched and jumped like that when he raised his hand up and stuff. He showed the right thing. And how he treated you on one of those lies. He asked everybody, do y'all want me to throw this water on her? And they said, yeah. I'm like, oh, damn, I know he don't. I put, oh, I don't do that to that girl on live. And he did it to you. He poured all that water on it, <laughs> out of that water bottle on you and your laptop. You were so worried about that damn laptop, boo. What I have been worried about was he just embarrassed me on live. On my live channel, on my, on your channel, baby, he embarrassed the heck out of you, on your live. He didn't embarrass you so many times on your live. It's a crime, shame. He didn't disrespected you on your lives. And then there go the time when he whooped Aiden. Oh God, my allergies act up and stuff. And uh. I don't have no cleaners because my, my nose is itching me, you guys. But anyway, you're going to turn the camera sideways so we won't see it anymore. Excuse me. You So we will not see it. And uh, you're going to turn that dog on camera. Uh, dog is over there. You're going to turn that camera sideways so we will not see or hear it. That boy ended up spanking that baby because he was crying because I forgot what he wanted to eat that day. But he wanted something to eat. And I guess the baby must have woke him up and he come out of that room and stuff. And this man encouraged you on how many times on your lives and stuff. But you come back up here and protect him and every doggone thing. Jazz, I, I say, I know. Because I done been through that stuff like that. I used to pay protect my ex, my children's sperm donor. I used to do the same thing, make up excuses for him, make up lies to cover up the bruises and stuff on my face. He never did put his hands on the kids, but because I protected them and stuff. I dealt with that for eight damn years. I know. I didn't dealt with that stuff. I didn't hid it. I didn't lie. I put it in the back of my mind. I put that kind of crap back in my mind. I can tell you just like it was yesterday, every doggone thing. He used to abuse me when I was pregnant. So I pray to God he's not abusing you while you're pregnant now. Because I got abused when I was pregnant. That's why I thought I was going to lose Justin and stuff. Because I was bleeding and everything. And he didn't give a damn. I went in there and called 911 my damn self. He didn't care. So I know what kind of man you got in your home. Because I, I used to have a person like that. A boy, a dog, a, 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 he ain't no man, he's a boy. I paid all the bills. I did this, I did that. He then left me, and me and my children had to walk all the way back to the house because I was ashamed to call my family and tell them what he done done. So I walked back home and stuff. So I know what a bruiser is. I done seen it in action. And you up there is hiding one in your house from you and you, 
that you don't want your kids, you don't want your, your but your bestie told it. We already saw it and stuff. We just seen it. But like I said, she just doing this to get attention, to get her views back up. I'm not being mean. I'm not being harsh to her. I'm just speaking my facts and my facts only. That's why I didn't jump up and do this video. I sat back and I observed and I thought and I thought and I thought before I came on this channel and did a reaction on her. You sit up here and you want somebody to praise this no good bomb that ain't about nothing. They don't do nothing for you. He didn't help you get that house, baby. You got that house on your own. So stop making him look like something that he is not. He ain't nothing but a worthless piece of crap. He ain't nothing but something that you done stepped on and it's on up a bundle of your feet. You cannot go nowhere no more, Jab. Unc, you used to go places in your car. Only thing you do now is sit at that doggone house and be depressed and lonely because he's always gone in your vehicle. He couldn't get that vehicle fixed. You had to ask your mama. Stop trying to make excuses for something that ain't, it ain't about nothing. Yes, you got a baby with a bomb. You do think that's going to love you? No. Did you look at the other women? Look what he did to them. He already told you you're not his type of woman. You done lost a good friend. She was a good friend to you. And you dogged her out. And stuff. And you got mad because she put some of your business. Now, you put a whole lot of her business. Now, you sold your soul to the devil. And gave it to the devil. That's what you did, girl. And you didn't think she going to put something of yours out? She really didn't put it out. She just threw out hints to us. She just gave a piece of it out. She could have put out a whole lot of dish of yours. I know she know a lot of dish of yours. Just like you know a lot of dish of her. But I don't care. I don't care about your dish. I don't care about her dish. Only thing we care about is you did. You, you, you backstabbed her. You stabbed her in the back. You stabbed her in the back. And she was there for you. You weren't woman to talk about her yourself. You gave the information to a, the devil. You gave the information to her worst enemy. And she told it that where she got the information from. She didn't give a damn. And she don't give a damn about you. As soon as you backstab her and, and get tired of her. Oh yeah, all the information of you, you didn't gave to her. She gonna talk about it to make her channel grow. That's what kind of person she is. She feeds off of y'all information. She feeds off of everything that y'all tell her. And then she go make a video about it. So we can come and watch and react off it. And so she can make money off it. The only thing she think about is me, myself, and I. She don't care about you. She already told you how slow you are. And she just she just your friend because she feels sorry for you. She already said that, Unc. What kind of person you are. You are slow. So if that's the kind of person you want to be with, you fine because both of y'all are wrong. You stabbed her and you stabbed your friend in the back and sooner or later, she's going to turn around and stab you in the back. And I can't wait. And yeah, you said that folks saying, well, you getting what you deserve. <laughs> you know it too, don't it? I'm not going to say you get what you deserve because I'm not going to say it. Because you know you was wrong. So that's why you getting on here so folks can feel sorry for you. And feel pity for you and cash out your money and subscribe back to you so you because you losing your subscribers. Y'all both are losing y'all subscribers. Y'all both are. And I don't feel pity for you. I don't. I don't feel pity for you because you lie so much. We don't know what's the truth anymore. It's hard for us to find out what the truth is because you lie so much. You changed your lives around so much. We just go back to y'all videos and look at it and we laugh like, damn, did she just say so and so and so and so? Because I, somebody on their committee said, on their committee said that you had told, you had said in your life that you was eight months pregnant. I already knew which how many months you was. Because I can tell the way, the way you breathe, the way you walk, the belly, every doggone thing. You show it then because you're going to be having a baby soon because you're going to be dropping it soon. 
And then you gonna the um, stepmom. They said the stepmom said that you were five months. I'm like, that damn girl ain't no dog on five months. <laughs> Y'all getting y'all lies mixed up, and she ain't telling y'all the stuff right, and y'all messing it up. So that's why Mama Deuce had to come on and get everything right. Don't let somebody else do y'all dirty work for you. Don't let nobody else do y'all dirty work, because they, they messing you up, girl. They messing your lies up. Then you had to get on here because you saying folks wonder where you at. Now, if you were sick, you should have put on your uh, your thing and told everybody that, or made a little short video. I was like, well, so she been doing it and stuff. Then I seen Shanika World. She vlogged about that she had COVID. And that girl, I prayed for her because she looked like she was about to die. She can barely open her eyes and stuff up. But she vlogged. She made a video about her COVID, that she had COVID. And she stayed in her room. But she now she's much better and everything. And I was, I'm glad about it. But you talking about you so tired and you can't blog and stuff. But you blogged about everything else, Jazz. You blogged about you was in the hospital. You blogged about this. You blogged about that. But this right here, you can't blog about. Okay. I get you. You blog about every doggone thing else. But I get you. But that's all I want to talk about, you guys. I'm finna go in here. I think I'm going to make one more video today. And it's going to be me and my grandbaby making cupcakes. And I hope you guys like this video. And don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a blessed and happy and safe Labor Day weekend. Bye.